back in of our two classes this week on centering. Starting in your easy pose, let yourself imagine your center, imagining maybe a ray of light travels through the middle of your body, and imagine as you breathe in that that light is invigorated by your breath coming in through your nostrils, swirling around your head and your throat, down through your heart, deep into your belly, and exhaling out through that same central path, out through the mouth. cycle of breath, allow that glow in your center to lengthen a little bit. Shining up through your head, through your skull. Extending, reaching down into the center, eventually, of the earth. If you could imagine that center of the earth, a little molten ball of white light, Extending all the way up through all the layers of soil into your tailbone, into your root, and through your body. And let that radiating glow extend your spine. Keep imagining your center attaching to the center of the earth. And let extraneous things fall away. Softening those shoulders down the back. Lifting up through your rib cage, through your heart, through your throat, through your head. Releasing everything else. When I was younger, I saw my daddy. Big breath in, let your arms reach out to the side. And exhale, draw those palms and fingertips softly touching down in front of your center line. Wide on and come up. Drift down that center line. One more breath in. Melt down front. And even as you reach forward here, keep that vision of your own center line. Rolling back up. Big circle breath. Letting your breath bring your focus back into the center of your body each time.
Cause none of it was ever worth the risk Well you One more breath brings you up. Big side bend. Taking time today, really nurturing that motion. Reach up as tall as you can and pluck some clouds from the sky, one side and then the other, just getting long. And then sigh, pull those shoulder blades down. Anchor your elbows down, tuck them in like wings behind your rib cage. Open the palms skyward, lean up with your heart. Slightly tuck the chin so the back of the neck stays long. And then soften those Give them a little jiggle so your hip flexors stay fluid. And sink those hands down to the mat. Option to rise the hips. Switch your feet. Big breath in. And float it on forward. Slide left. Go ahead and come up on the left side and reach out. Re-anchor that right hip down to the ground. And we're going to float up with the breath. Like a gust of wind just lifted you up in your sheet or a flag and exhale a little lower. Gust of wind lifts you up. Exhale a little lower. One more time. Gust of wind. And reach on out as far as you can. Big deep breaths before you rise, gathering in your pelvic floor and your abdomen, and then curving into the center to roll up. Lift those arms, rotate, revolve over to the left leg, taking your left hand down, reaching out. Take this moment to anchor down through the left hip, and then three breaths. Floating up like a flag. Try and really connect that breath with your motions. You don't need to be in time with me perfectly. Rather, focus on staying in time with your own breath. A walk on the moon here. And 
bring those knees in, taking your hands behind your thighs, squeeze them into the chest, letting your tailbone come up. Exhale, hollow out that core, and then push your legs into the sky, squeezing them together. Come on. And exhale, bring it all back into the chest. And push your legs into the sky to come up. And curve one more time. And lift those arms up, lifting your heart up, squeezing your legs together. And we're going to take our arms up above ourselves and squeeze those palms together. Press, 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 press. Center. Find your breath. Gently curve back to the mat. And stretch long leg. You just woke up. Taking your hands down underneath your mat, underneath your, your belly here. Reach underneath your back and notice how when we stretch long, we tend to come up off the floor, right? So I can fit my whole arm under there. But what we want is to bring our back back down to the mat, yeah? So go ahead and bend your legs if you need to. Pull that belly in and curve down into the mat. And from here, lifting your legs up, walking on the ceiling again. Legs all the way together today, bend them. Curl up your chest, big breath in. Exhale, deepen that core. Bring those legs together and closer. Deepen that core. So we're curling our head, neck, and shoulders up. If you need to hold on to your head, or hold on to the back of your leg, that's fine. You can make either of those choices. But focus on that centering, pulling the abdominal wall into the back. And reach out to your right. Find your breath, squeeze those legs together, squeeze your belly, get your legs closer to your chest if you're having trouble. Come center. And other side, squeeze it together. Feel the fire in your core. Come center, release. Knees stay in, arms come up, and knees to the right. Gentle twist. No pushing just yet with your twists, because even though we're stretching just a little bit. We're still not very warm. So we're just kind of exploring and touching where our bodies are to start with. Once our bodies get warmer, then we'll go back to the stretch and do it more deeply. Big breath. Legs squeeze together into the chest. Lift your tailbone off the floor and chest and head in. Squeeze those legs. Just lift and lower your heels a couple inches holding onto that squeeze. You can place your hand behind your neck if you like. Feeling that core tighten, feeling your pelvic floor. Keeping your tush off the ground. And release. Feet to the floor, keep them close to you. And feet all the way together today. Let's do cat-cow here on the ground. So a supine cat-cow. So I'm curving and arching through the back. And then we're gonna roll up. Keep it small, it's probably pretty tight, especially in your hip flexors to start with. <sighs> Tuck that belly back in, tiny glute presses, creating warmth. Take those hands, let's breathe up, let's squeeze our palms together. Keep those pulses going, thighs together, belly tight, hands press, relax your neck. Hold it up, legs apart, knees back together. Legs apart, knees back together. Legs apart, knees back together, shoulder blades back, 
Knees back together. Find your core and back. One more. Are you breathing? And roll it down. Knees to your chest. Give them a hug. Rock it up. Find your feet in that squat position. Take some time here to honor not only your calves, heels, and feet, which stretch here in this position as we let our weight fall back towards the heels, but also honor your ability to squeeze those thighs together and that strength that you feel when you do, and the rocking forward onto those hands with your pointer fingers forward. Feeling all those things one at a time. Feeling your hands, pressing through the fingers. Really squeeze and point down so we're warming up those hands. Bringing your focus back to your legs. Are you squeezing your legs together? Bringing your focus back to your shoulders, which are probably quite curved. So let them curve for a stretch. And then anchor your shoulder blades down. See if you can put all of those elements together. Hands, arms in, legs centering, shoulder blades centering. Go ahead and press into the earth. Find a forward fold and walk it out. Legs close. And you can be as bent as you want here. Go ahead and release your head. Let your skull go. Find that forward fold. Nurture your way into it. If you're working with a brick, you can put bricks underneath your hands in your forward fold. Exhale, side hips down, rise up. Squeezing those thighs together, squeezing your belly to your spine, squeezing your shoulder blades back, and your open heart lifts forward. Pressing the earth away to rise to the balls of your feet. Settle down center, big breath in. We're gonna go right into this flow you know. Today it's gonna be warrior ones instead of high lunges. Big breath in. Open the heart. Feel yourself squeezing together in this pose. Come back up, touch center line as you pass through your forward fold today. Inhale halfway up, exhale down. Your right leg steps back and out a smidge to put the heel down. Remember that back leg is turned out in warrior one and we find our way up. If your hips are super opening, Bring that foot in a little bit or out a little bit so you get square hips in the front. Find those square hips. Big breath. We're gonna bring our fingers together. Let me give you a little hand close up. So you can either have your hands just normally together in Namaste or if you want a little extra support today, you can make your um, middle pointer and thumb all point forward and your ring and pinky fingers can hold together so that'll be an alternate little hand position for today big breath in anchor shoulders anchor ribs anchor core square hips lift up through your heart Tuck your tailbone under and forward. Rotate it out through the back side. Release those hands open. Three breaths. You choose how big they are for you today. All the way down, Chaturanga Vinyasa, right away. Stepping back to your plank or modified plank. Heart down as you pass through chaturanga. Inhale, legs together this week. Exhale, back down. 
Downward dog of your child's pose, three big breaths. Keep on breathing. And your right leg's gonna come up. And the cracks begin to Go show. Ahead and open the legs for a moment and then bring them back. And looking underneath yourself, bring your legs down and see the thighs together. Bring that leg back up. I just want to Exhale, thighs together, bent right leg and tuck nose into your knee. I always say that funny. Knee <laughs> into your nose. Exhale back. Inhale, lift it up, squeezing those arms together. To Exhale. Turn you on, Tuck it in. Turn you and take you high. Everybody wants a flash screen. Step Everybody it through. Wanna be seen. Everybody wanna be famous. Change to Ain't your high love. Taking those hands down behind you. Hold hands if you can. Let's make that hand shape with two of your fingers pointed. You can wrap the thumbs around. Hold on tight, friends. Centering. Squeeze to that center line for strength. Everybody wanna ride in your fast car. Release your hands. Step together. Everybody Inhale, float halfway up. Exhale down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, find center. Inhale, rise up. I just wanna keep you up Pivot forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, take it down. Your left leg steps straight back. If you look underneath yourself, your thighs are still aligned. Then you're going to adjust to warrior one. Square your hips. If your hips are not making it here, step it out a little bit. Get square hips instead. Squeeze your hips square and also rotate your thigh out. Inhale up, pointing up through those fingers. Scoop it up. Dive in. Step through Chaturanga Vinyasa. Bring those legs together. Resting in your downward dog. One more breath here. If it feels good today to walk your dog, you can walk your dog. And your right leg's gonna float up. Open it first, explore. Close it. Bring it halfway down and watch those thighs. Watch that center line. Add the tuck. 
exhale, thighs come together and leg bends, tuck it in, lead it nose. Exhale, thighs back, inhale, rise up with that leg. Check on your upper arms. Taking those hands down behind yourself. Hold on tight, lift up, lengthen through that lower back. And shift. Squeezing the center line for balance. Drape it down, step together, inhale halfway, exhale softly, inhale up, inhale open up your heart, rise up, find your balance, lifting straight up by just shifting your tailbone and your heart forward above your balls of your feet. Find your breath. Keep squeezing together. Settle it down. Shifting into that chair. We're gonna squeeze those legs together, core in, sitting. Reach your tailbone out behind you and then curl it underneath. Yeah, so we're gonna reach it out, curl it back like cat cow. Reach it out, arch, take your arms back. And exhale. Sit down deep. Inhale, arch it out. And exhale. Rise up go into our eagle pose. So we're gonna shift our weight onto our standing right leg. That means this belly button, the center line, this up. The left leg comes up. Let's start by just pulling it into the chest. Drop that hip. Standing right leg. It's gonna reach the knee straight forward. Cross your legs as high as you can and sit down. Squeezing your thighs together, then pull your ribcage back up over your pelvis. Top leg is bottom arm. Uh, uh, uh. Big old Pac-Man mouth, cross above the elbows. And then bend the elbows to wrap. Bring your shoulders back over your chest, squeeze your center line. Find your breath. Step onto the other leg. Grab that standing leg. Close them together. Heel to your bun. Reach on up. Square to the front. Hip forward. You can hold on to a wall, a chair. Close those hips. Shift back to your starting place. Shifting on to your left leg, knee, chest. Dropping the shoulders, legs cross. Reaching your standing knee forward to sit down. Bring those ribs in so they hover above the hips. Squeeze those hips together. Shins trying to be wrapped up in vertical. Top leg, bottom arm. 
Yes. Lift those elbows. If you all bear or fall, that's all right. Just reset. Find your breath. Release. Shifting onto the top leg. Stretching your standing quad. Squeeze it all together. Square arm lifts. Tip forward. Rising up. Release. Step wide, as wide as your mat. Feel your center reaching back. <sighs> Anchoring together your shoulder blades and then your upper, your lower ribs, your belly and thighs. Squeeze in as you sit. <sighs> Find your breath. Take your hands to Namaste. Like you were here to stay. Press the earth away to rise. Reaching forward, lifting up in your core. Squeezing those thighs towards each other. Find flat back. Let your arms drift behind you. Hold hands, bend those knees. Drop everything up above your head. If it feels good to sway, you can sway. Let those arms cling on to each other. If you have a strap and you want to hold a strap or a t-shirt or anything, because your hands can't get together yet, that's a great process. But let the weight of your arms stretch your front of your chest. All right, drop those hips. Hands to the earth. Scoot your chest between your thighs. Wiggle it in. And then squeeze together to rise up. Boom. Arms forward, squeeze together. Tuck your tongue, tongue. Tailbone under. <laughs> rise up. We're going to come back onto our right foot, left leg up. I'm going to send it back. Reach your arms up. Warrior three. Keep closing that hip. Close that hip to flat. Your bus stop could be a B is toes off, C is part way there, D is getting towards flat. Let your hands find the floor by bending the leg if you want. Stepping back, high lunge. Let's rock forward and back and forward and back. And then we're going to come back to that high lunge left knee, sorry, right knees forward, and rotate your chest into that forward leg. And this is going to lift your hip, so I want you to drop that hip back down to the even lunge. In fact, go ahead and place your hand on that caboose, drop it down, and then rotate your ribs against the torque of that hip. Go ahead and drop your knee and pull back into a hamstring stretch and find your breath. Shoulders 
shape it forward. Walk yourself into your middle stretch again. So now you're on your mat long ways. This would be the front of your mat. And you're gonna drop into this wide stretch. You could be up on blocks. Maybe the couch is here. Maybe a wall is in front of you. And you're gonna find your way. If nothing else, you could also put your hands on your thighs and just go side to side. I'm gonna turn so you can see me a little better. And as you're switching your weight from left to right, I want you to think about these inner thighs, giving you resistance and strength by pulling into your center. Think about your belly. Instead of dropping it, can you lift it in? Good. Hands to the floor if you can, or to your prop. And wherever you are, heel, toe, heel, toe, your legs back closer. Rise up. Step back to the front of your mat. And we're going to lift up. Standing. Same side. Just open that leg around. And close it. And open it. Hand inside of the thigh. Sit down that hip. Find your balance. Extend. And just like we did that. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> fabric in the wind, exercise to reach out on the diagonal, which is where this leg is going. Same thing here. You choose where your leg is going today. So it can be low, and we're keeping center as our team. So balancing over your standing foot is the key. Soften that leg in, shift it out. Take a moment to loosen whatever feels tight. Just move, breathe fluidity. Find your breath, friends. Coming back. Now your right leg lifts. Touch that toe down and extend, centering, tipping forward. Find your bus stop, warrior three. Engage that stomach, parallel hips. Find your prop or the floor. Step back, high line. Fluid forward back. Nice square high lunge and revolve towards that front. Take your hand to your left hip and drop it back square. Your heart's going to your front knee. You could have a brick underneath this right hand if that helps you so your hips are really squeezing center but your shoulders are revolving come center let your back knee touch the floor and come back into that hamstring stretch Relax your neck and shoulders, big deep breaths. Rising up. Walk yourself into the middle. And bring your hands in a little bit. We're gonna turn our knees out. Bring them a little closer. In fact, why, why don't you heel toe, heel toe? all the way into the width of your hips and come down into Malasana, the earth pose. We're gonna sit down right here in the middle. Yeah? So when we did our closed-legged squat earlier, 
We had our legs all the way together and our knees and toes were straight forward. So now we have our knees and toes out. And most of us put our knees further out, or for, our toes further out than where our knees can go. So if you look at this angle of my toes right now, they're out here, but my knees pointing here. So I want to bring those two things together. So be conservative with your foot position, yeah? And then reach around to your ye old buns. <laughs> Gotta be a weirdo sometimes, right? So right about where your hands reach is where the muscles are that are external rotators. So those are what open your knees out, yeah? And I would like you to please open your knees out so that you're holding your knees in the same direction as your toes are. You gotta activate those muscles. You're like a little butterfly flapping, yeah? And then you're going to squeeze in all of your core and underside balance that out and that's how you get your balance here yeah so squeezing your pelvic floor opening those knees back gathering your belly in see if you can find namaste and I have both heels down for this pose it's a little hard for me to be seen let me come into the light a little bit ah, that's better yeah both heels are down so if your heels are not down probably you have gotten a little too close together with your feet for this pose so step out a little bit my heels are farther out than my hip sockets. See if you can hold those knees back and find your balance here. It almost feels like I'm pressing out, but I'm really pulling in in my core and pelvic floor. When you find it, one time, press the floor away. Rise up, knees wide. Knees wide, knees wide, knees wide. Tail going underneath you. Lift. This is not for everybody's knees. If your knees are cranky, just go halfway. Find your way down comfortably. Yeah. Good. All right. Come on down to your buns for a moment. Hooray! We're gonna stretch out your left leg and pull your right leg into the center. We're gonna stretch straight through the middle here. Your body's gonna drift. Yeah? So I want you to keep thinking about centering that spine over your pubis, belly button, heart, head, right in between your legs. As you do this stretch, we all kind of flop towards the bent leg, which is because it's, it's got some slack, so it's easier to bend over that leg. So I want you to challenge yourself to find your edge, not to chase your ego, but find your place in the middle where you're stretching. For me, when I come into this pose, I feel I'm very flexible in the middle here. So I actually feel a lot more happening in the, the less active leg at first because I'm doing so much work to stay on my center. So let yourself experience that. And notice this extended leg wants to roll in and it might not be anywhere near straight as usual. Our extended leg does not have to be all the way straight. In fact, go ahead and bend it, everybody. Even if you can straighten it, bend it and feel what it feels like differently. It might be easier to stay in the center if you give yourself this slack. It might be easier to keep that knee open. And you might actually get a deeper stretch in the inner thigh by giving yourself slack than you would by trying to do it the hard way. Isn't that a life lesson, right? Give yourself a little slack, you might have more success. <laughs> Go ahead and slide into your pose and breathe deeply. yourself up and switch sides. We're going to be uh, working on the middles for a little bit here today. So if you want to switch your mat to be sideways to face the screen or move your screen, feel free to do that. And take your time getting into this stretch. Remember, sometimes a little slack will help you access 
those muscles more successfully. about that pelvic floor, can you cling it together? Can you draw the energy up your spine? Reaching left and right, find the center, tip your pelvis forward. My elbows here are bending into my knees to help them stay rolled back. If you are tighter here, yeah, this stretch is gonna look at first like this, but I am not stretching your back here. So bring your legs together and forward as much as you need to in order to get your butt behind you and you feel the bony part of your butt, the weight goes on top of it to begin, yeah? So if I were straight up here, I would be on my sits bones. But if you're falling backwards the whole time, you're gonna end up with a back stretch and not getting into these thighs. The thighs stretch when we rotate the pelvis. So find where your knees are. It might look really different. We were going for a feeling that's the same, not a look that's the same. I know, not easy to teach over Zoom, right? I would love to be able to come by and say, here, try this, friend. <laughs> find where your inner thighs are getting the stretch. Come home to your breath. Center your thoughts on your breath. You might activate those muscles underneath that open your knees that we talked about earlier to keep your legs from rolling forward, right? So your knees should be pointed up towards the sky. Rolling in changes which, uh, which hamstrings you're stretching. And we want to get the adductors. You can also slip a hand or a fist underneath the knee. Go ahead and come on up. Come into your butterfly pose and dive your skull into your feet. Soft knees, just wiggle it out. Yeah, if your hip flexors are feeling kind of tight now, maybe softly wiggle them for a moment. And we're gonna take a moment to focus on our arms. So wherever your legs feel comfortable right now, just give them a break for a moment. Big breath in, reach your arms up above your shoulders. Flex those hands. And we're gonna bring our elbows down in to our sides. Yeah. And notice when we first come down, a couple things might happen. Your elbows might be out to the side. 
maybe you have extra flesh here or lady parts that push them out, I want you to, instead of thinking of an excuse, I want you to just activate those squeezes and pull those arms into your body. Give them a hug, yeah? And then notice that your shoulders might still be rolled forward away from the mat. That's not always bad, but in general, we want to anchor our shoulder blades down more. That protects the front of the shoulder and the radiator cuff. Yeah? So shoulder blades back, tuck them in, elbows squeezing in. And you are creating heat because you're squeezing so intensely right now. Yeah? Shoulder blades down, create heat, create a quiver. And then think about those hands. Let's circle them for now. Keep squeezing your shoulders back. Keep squeezing your elbows in. If you can, add your abdominal while pulling in. So you're centering all throughout the torso. And then very softly rotate it. Give them a little love. Shoulders down, ribs in, bellies in, elbows in. All right. I want you to take your right hand, keep the shoulder anchored, but reach up above, sort of on a 45 degree angle, let's see. And anchor that shoulder, so I'm squeezing, down, like I'm quivering in my back, because I'm squeezing tight, tight, tight. Flap your wings for me. Shake it out. Come back, center. Back to that hands in front of your shoulders, elbows in, shoulders down, and let's go ahead and bring our elbows all the way down to the ribs, and then press your wrists down, so now your wrists are above your elbows. This is your chaturanga eye arm pose, so when we're going down to the floor through chaturanga vinyasa, we want to pass through this moment, ha ha ha. <laughs> all right, let your left arm go into that 45 degree angle, but keep your core tight. Bellies in, shoulders down, elbows rotate in. And both arms up, elbows out, elbows in. Elbows out, elbows in. Elbows out, elbows in. Elbows out, elbows in. Both arms back to Chaturanga. Good, let's make a little flow out of this. Draw your knees to your chest, big breath in. Exhale, lift your tailbone just a millimeter off the floor. Tighten those abs. Elbows in, shoulders down. Right arm lifts up, and left arm lifts up, right arm elbow into your ribs, tuck your tail, shoulders back, left arm, bring it home, nice and slow, check your abs, both arms out and in, check your abs, check your shoulders, make it hot. it all long. Big breath in. Let it go. Nothing. Big breath in. Lengthen. Be the longest, most attenuated being you can be. Let everything go. Inhale one more time. Just be as long and tall as you can. Maybe squeeze your buns. Exhale and enjoy the nothingness at the end of your breath. Nothingness. All right, draw your legs in. And open them wide, grab your angles. Just settle here. All right, we did those stretches. One leg bent, one leg open. Can you do it here? Sure. Bent leg is really obvious that your knee is pointing towards the floor by your shoulder. That's what we want, yes? All right. <laughs> you ready for crazy time? Left hand and left leg. Left leg is the bent one for me right now. I'm gonna take this left hand up in the air. For 
left hand, I'm gonna bring my elbow in to the fold of the inside of my leg. So right here. I'm gonna squeeze those two things together. I'm gonna squeeze my elbow in, I'm gonna pull my elbow, my knee in against my elbow. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. Let's find that on both sides. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in and lift your tailbone. Squeeze and lift. And then release. Let your other leg stretch out. both legs. Let them be quite high up. Remember it wasn't actually side to side when we were on the floor and we're recreating that shape. All right. Come on up. It's going to be our last push for the day and then we're going to get back down to laying around. Yes? You're going to come back facing long ways on your mat. So, I'm trying to think of a good way to do this first. Let's start kneeling with uh, our knees really wide. Just to give a sense of where we're gonna go. We're gonna basically be doing what we just did on our back, but on our arms. So, go ahead and take left. Nope, this is your right, sorry, right. Let's start right. Right hand, place it in front of you on the mat, bend that elbow into your thigh. Yeah, left arm's gonna reach out long, and you're gonna reach forward like you're trying to go into a great big child's pose. Yes. Okay, a great way to think about that. So, connecting your elbow to that spot on your thigh here on the floor, and then reach out long. And just let your chest fall on the ground for now, why not? Yeah. Try the other side. Connect your left elbow and left knee. Reach your right side long. Way out. And come back up. All right. Now, we're coming up to our couch. We're going to all do bust up A. Right arm, elbow knee, hand on the floor, reach up, boink, that's it, come back home. Try the other side, back of your arm, above your elbow, into the inner thigh, hand on the floor, and reach. Both hands, you've been here before. Okay. Now we're going to separate our legs a little bit more. Go ahead and extend your right leg. Let's creep it out. That's the easiest way to go. Creep, 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 creep. It's still super bent, yeah? Remember I talked about how your body's going to want to fall towards that side? So we're going to squeeze in with the more bent leg. Squeeze your right leg in. Reach up left. Fall forward. That's it, so my butt comes off this leg. Can I turn a little bit and show you a little more clearly? As I reach and come forward, my butt comes up in there, yeah? It's like a teeter-totter. And I'm firmly connecting these two things. Try the other side. Boink, boink. Scooch out your other leg. Long arm, long leg. Shift forward like a teeter-totter. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's it for Bust Up A and B. If you'd like to try a little more challenging version, we're going to repeat. Repeat your Bust Stop. More challenging version is we're going to try and get those two things a little, two legs a little wider. So let's place righty. Bonk, 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 bonk. Scooch lefty out. 
I'm gonna start a little bit up in the air. I'm really going forward here. So far forward that this arm that was stretched out is gonna start bending. And I can, <laughs> it'll be easier if I show you standing. This is my bent leg. It goes inside, yeah? This is taking most of the weight. This guy reaches out, and as I lean forward, it comes in underneath me. So then I end up, one leg's trying to be straight, one leg is bent. Let's try it on your left leg bent side. Find that bent leg connection first. Yeah? Sneak other arm out. Good, good. Try again. Okay, here's a variation is you can try shifting forward and purposefully letting your head touch the ground. Boom. Why? Because it takes the fear out of it, yeah? Donk, you're safe, you're fine. From there, head on the floor. Then, shoulder anchor back lifts your head. Then, you could take both feet, one foot, one head or any variety. So try something that is a little bit edgy on your right and your left, and that'll be it. Remember, the way that we find balance here is by adding all of that centering back in, yeah? You're curling into your pelvic floor, you're breathing your, bringing your legs together. <laughs> trying to remember which pose you're doing. <laughs> Come back down. Ah, bring those legs together. Let's give those hands a big break, yeah? All right, so hands facing each other to start with. Let's take your right hand and tuck it down. And just hold your knuckles downwards, the other hand. Notice this elbow is also down. So I'm creating a small angle from my palm to my wrist. If you want to multitask, you can hang out in a forward fold here. Put your hands, and I'm going to do a externally rotated forward fold. And now switch, palms up, like, please sir, can I have some more? Take your right fingers and open them back to your, towards your elbow now. Press that heel of the palm forward. Switch sides of your hands. You can also do this action of opening up uh, by pressing your fingertips and then leaning in so your palms are open towards the front. Go ahead and bring your right leg in to your center, just like we did before. But now we're going to, instead of this leg being out, lefty is going to tuck all the way into your buns around behind you. Yeah. And just lean out and open that thigh. And 
you can even massage it with your hands. Lengthening it, pressing into the hip flexors if your hip flexors are tight. Mine are, so I'm going to dive my thumb in there slowly. If you really feel this in your knee here, uh, remember to not let your ankle hang out way up here. Ow, that's a lot on the knee. So you want to put your ankle down. See so your shin and your thigh are taking I like to point it and roll on top of my head. And now I'm leaning away from the thigh to really well those hips. back and this time we're going to start with our legs on top of each other and open your back away from the legs so here's that spinal twist again but now we're warm and now you can really work into it a little deeper coming back to your center to your breath back to that visualization of your spine and center as a glowing ray of light. Think about that as you rotate your spine spiraling around that center. Long neck, long spine, coming into your breath and giving your body patience and compassion, that patience and compassion is creating a space for your muscles to unfurl. Breathe in, making space with that breath. And exhale, let the tension unfurl and float away, drift away. if you want to deepen the stretch perhaps by lengthening your bottom leg or by letting your top knee fall over a little more further perhaps you want to walk your shoulders towards that knee to get more on your center line you decide Wow. 
rock yourself back to the middle. Take a moment before you stretch the other side. Let your whole body roll over. And then open your chest. that glowing center of Yeah. Mm-hmm. 